What's up, what's up? It's your boy JC coming at you again from Bangkok, Thailand. Welcome back to Thailand Inner Circle. Welcome to November. Welcome to the beginning of high season when about 50% of all tourists come over the next four months. It's just started and there is already a noticeable difference in the amount of people here. The amount of people on the streets, restaurants, bars, the malls here in Bangkok. And that's what that's what I'm here to talk about. That's the that's the that's the theme of today's video. It's about high season and you being prepared for it. And uh, yeah, it's a kind of a dovetail into the video that uh, Dennis and I did covering some aspects of high season, but that was as they specifically related to Nana Plaza. So. Um, and those things are kind of the points we covered in that video. Check the thing. Uh, they're applicable to this to the season, not just that location. So for those of you who haven't been here or you haven't been here this time of year, why is high season so popular? Well, because it's the coolest time of year. It's winter here. The temperature is significantly less. Uh, you can be out all day and be comfortable. The nights are cooler, the humidity is way down, and for a lot of people, it's just way more comfortable. Um, that's, that's one of the primary reasons. The second reason is uh, basically no rain at all during the uh, high season, you know, during the, during the winter time, during those four months, which means uh, well, for those of us who live here year-round, the rain is not an impediment, but every once in a while it does prompt some of us to want to just stay in. Um, and you can get caught out in it sometimes, but you know, generally it's not a, it's not an impediment. But there's a couple times a year where it just raining so hard, we don't even go out. I, I'll stay home for a couple days at a time, just because it's so continuous um, so that's another reason why people like to come here so expect nice weather and expect to not have to uh, not have to expect any rain now concerning our favorite topic here my favorite topic in particular that being adult entertainment here I'm gonna flip it around I know you guys get tired of looking at me Let's get past these people here. So, kind of like talked about in the video with Dennis concerning uh, shifts in service rates. For a lot of things there is concerning service rates and adult entertainment, there, there is no change. The services at massage shops such as Annie's, other services on that same soy, and, and like services generally stay the same. The shift that you will possibly encounter is uh, because there's so many people here, there's so many dudes here compared to the off season. Uh, the I have to choose my words carefully. The people that you will encounter, the entertainers that you will encounter working at various establishments, including go-go bars or beer, beer bars that we talk about like on Soy 7. Um, yeah. Sometimes you'll encounter somebody who feels that she uh, deserves more than what you're used to them asking for. So don't be surprised. Don't be put off by that. If you're very price sensitive, that's a you issue. Um, like we say, often say, don't let 500 baht or 1,000 baht be the thing that stands in between you and the good time you're looking for. Just don't do it. Don't be a cheap Charlie. Not saying that 
you shouldn't stick to your guns, you know, but fair is fair. And if you don't like the rate being quoted you, thank them and move on. There's so many opportunities here that if that's a real issue for you, don't get hung up on it and find somebody else. It's just that simple. It's not, it's not complicated. Another thing that if you've ever been here in the off season, uh, one of the reasons we like it is because there's just fewer people here. There's fewer people when we go out, restaurants, bars, when we go to play pool, just getting taxis and you know some of the more popular night spots that we'll hit once in a while. Um, and when I say night spots, I'm not talking about Nana and Cowboy. Those places have been, they've been seeing relatively good traffic, foot traffic throughout the year. There was only one month that was really slumping. Um, but it's going to spike and there are going to be a lot more people there. In the off season, it's difficult to get into a billboard sometimes. In the, in the high season, yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be packed almost every night. Every once in a while, there'll be a lull, but most of the time, it's going to be packed. Thank goodness they have a lot of other clubs up there, including Butterfly, Baccarat and Soy Cowboy is always a good choice, as is our favorite, the Dollhouse. Even though our brother Dennis isn't there anymore, the culture that he cultivated there persists, and it's still a great experience. So those are, the, those are some of the main things that you should expect here during high season. Nothing dramatic has changed. You just might find, uh, you might find that some, some of these uh, service providers are asking for more than you're used to or more than some of their peers. And that's, that's not entirely unusual for this time of year. More people here mean they have more choices. And that means it's a seller's market. Where in the off season, it's a lot more of a buyer's market. So you got questions, comments, hit me. Hit the likes. And that's all I got for now. I'll be resuming the live streams here in a week or two. All right, your boy JC, peace out.